Hi Cube Nation, this is Sam Kahane with Dave Vellante, and we're excited to welcome you to the Knowledge 15 pre-show here on the Cube. Today we're going to cover why is there so much buzz around Knowledge 15, what should our viewers expect at the event, and how our viewers can follow Knowledge 15. So to start, Dave, I know you go to a lot of shows and you're extremely excited about this one. Uh, what, why is this show so special? So Knowledge 15, uh, or Knowledge in general, the first time I went to Knowledge, I was blown away by the customers. It's the customers that make it so special. Um, executives are great. Um, you know, they have a lot of fun stuff going on. But unlike very few shows that I go to, customers are extremely passionate about Knowledge. And I think the reason is that their ServiceNow's core base are IT people. And IT people have been, you know, beat up, do more with less, uh, you know, they're blamed for every you know, delay or whatever it is, IT takes the brunt of it. ServiceNow customers are transforming their IT operation from an organization that says no, that's known for, a rep have a reputation to saying no to one that says yes. So that's sort of the theme that they, they put forth. Customers are so passionate, Sam, about uh, ServiceNow and the product that when they install it and they use it and they transform their organizations, they bake cakes, they, literally, they bake cakes and they send them to ServiceNow headquarters or they have a big party. So it's really the, the customers, the clients, the stories that I look forward to. Yeah, and I hope they can bring us some cakes as well. I'm a little hungry. It's a lot of cakes, <laughs> knowledge. So every time I look at you know, their stock price, it's always on the rise. In January, it's in the 60s, and now it's in the 80s. Uh, why is that? Why is there so much growth? Yeah. Yes, now has been a great stock. I think, well, so what do people look for in a great stock? They look for growth. Obviously, ServiceNow has been growing. They look for a big market. Uh, they look for great management, um, great product, great customers, and ServiceNow has all those things. I will tell you, when ServiceNow first went public, uh, the big concern about the company was is the size of its total available market because they were essentially disrupting the IT service management market, the change management, the sort of help desk market, which you know, it was a couple billion, it wasn't that big, and it was established entrenched players. What Frank Slootman and Mike Scarpelli, uh, the, the CEO and, and CFO respectively, the companies have done a great job of educating Wall Street on the size of the TAM. In fact, Furrier and I, John Furrier, wrote a piece last, I don't know, last year sometime, we posted it on Forbes and on our sites as well, sizing the TAM. And we had it north of 30 billion. One of the financial analysts just came out, I think it was Morgan, uh, and had the TAM at you know, 40 billion. So they've done a great job of educating the world as to how big this market actually is. They've delivered on their targets. They consistently hit or beat their targets. They got great management, uh, Slootman and his team, not just Frank, I mean, his, the whole team that he has, he has built. Fred Luddy is an incredible visionary. Um, he is the founder of the company and just really an interesting guy. So all those pieces you know, come into play. And to add to that, it's cloud, and you're seeing the cloudification of the entire world, um, and ServiceNow fits that mold perfectly. So a lot of people demand the stock. You know. Right, absolutely. And it's, you go back you know, to last year, and you're at the conference last year, and you look at the change to this year. Uh, what do you see as big differences at this conference versus last year and with the company? So I think that you know, unlike a lot of shows where you go to the show and it's like, okay, this year we're going to talk about theme X, and then next year they talk about theme Y, and the next year they talk about theme Z. What I think you're going to see is a lot of the themes that uh, Thrift Service now has put forth over the years, which are we are going to extend beyond IT. IT, we love IT. They're our stronghold. They're our advocates. But we're going to enable them to help us uh, improve the processes and automate the processes of other areas throughout the company. So IT and legal and finance and logistics and, and virtually everything can be a processized or turned into a process. And so ServiceNow is all the way about automating those. So I think what's going to be different is you're going to see, or what's changed is you, you have more proof points outside of help desk, outside of that core kind of foothold that ServiceNow had. I think that's what's really changed the most. Okay, great. And I know you've been uh, very active in the community, um, excited about this event. You were in a chat, a crowd chat yesterday. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so the crowd chat was all about sort of um, how to do things differently, how to uh, change the way process is done. And if you think about it, Sam, what's the number one tool that people use to get stuff done? It's, it's email. Mm -hmm. But when you talk to young people, you look at what's happening with social tools, you know, email is 
increasingly recognized as not an effective way to document processes and get stuff done. It's, okay, I fire off a request, and then that sets off a, a chain reaction. I might ask a question, and then that sets off all these chain reactions, all these emails floating around with attachments. The attachments change. There's no single record. You know, one of the big things of ServiceNow is a single CMDB, a, a change management uh, database. And so by having everything in a single process that's documented, you can totally change the way people work. And so that was really the, uh, the discussion in the crowd chat. What can be you know, processized? Um, how can we improve processes? And you know, of course, ServiceNow, actually it was good. It wasn't a lot of ServiceNow pimpage. It was just a lot of discussion around the you know, way companies work and how to improve them. Yeah, that, that's a great point. I know you're talking about all these different mediums. In terms of, for our viewers who want to follow uh, the conference and also stay up to date with theCUBE, what's the best way for them to do that? Well, a couple things. So I think, first of all, you should go to the Mandalay Bay if you can. If you can go to um, Knowledge, it's a really great show. If you've never been, you should go. The content is great. The executives are, are outstanding. The, the customers are, are really good. I think you're going to hear a couple of themes this year. I think you'll see everything is a service. I, you know, I've come, I and others have come to EAAS and, and you know, SaaS and IAS, et cetera. Everything as a service is, is something that I think you're going to hear a lot about. Um, ServiceNow previously has announced their version of the App Store. I think they call it the Showcase. I think you're going to see a lot more apps in that Showcase. The other thing that they've announced is they had this thing called App Creator. Um, and it's really geared toward applic application development for the masses. So you don't necessarily have to be a you know, Ruby on Rails programmer to, to develop applications on the ServiceNow platform. You, know, you have to have some level of expertise and training and some support from IT. So you're going to hear a lot about that. Um, great keynotes. A great, great customer stories, you know, and there'll be some fun too. All these conferences are, are fun. So I would definitely encourage people to go. If you can't go, we've, we're running the Cube. We got three days of Cube, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at the event. Um, so that's uh, uh, siliconangle.tv, you can find that. Uh, so I would, I would check that out. We're going to be running crowd chats, um, you know, the ServiceNow, just Google the, the ServiceNow Knowledge 15. ServiceNow always does a really good job of keeping people up to date as to what's going on. But we're really excited about the Cube being there and uh, looking forward to it. Yeah, I, I can't wait. And uh, we're running out of time here, Dave. So any last words about the event? Yeah, well, so as I say, we're going to be live on the Cube. So tweet me at, I'm at D Vellante. I'll be co-hosting with John Furrier. He's at Furrier. And um, we'll be running crowd chats. So definitely would love to hear from you. Fire off your questions. We'll, we always ask questions from the crowd. We really appreciate uh, everybody's uh, input and support. Right, and to view those crowd chats, just go to crowdchat.net slash no15. Um, That's K-N-O-W. K-N-O-W, <laughs> thank, thank you for that. So, um, you know, watch us live at siliconangle.tv. Uh, we're really excited for the event. So I uh, thank you for watching today, and Cube Nation, we'll see you next time.